Last US Open, Ben Shelton served at almost 240 km per hour. That was impressive, everybody saw that. But Ben's serve is much more than only speed, and I want to have a close look at it with you to understand why his serve is so incredible. Now let's have a look at why his serve is so good, and we'll find out that it's very unusual on many levels. First, first he's lefty, and this plays a part because his slice moves the other way compared to what the players are used to. They used to have the ball coming this way, and when he serves, he comes the other way. Second, his motion is very simple, very compact. Goes, he goes straight to the point, and if you look at it, he's lifting his elbow straight away at the level of his shoulders, so extremely simple. Now, what is unusual is his loading. Look at how early he bends his legs, and look at how much he bends them. It's not something that I would advise because it's very difficult to push hard on legs from a low position and staying in that low position. But he manages that very well and he produces a huge leg push towards the ball. As you can see, he almost hits the ball on the rise. And thanks to that, he doesn't stay too long on his legs bent, which is great because again, when you are too long on your legs bent, very difficult to push up. His trophy position is also very unusual because when he's in that position, his dominant arm is very low and it's supposed to be with the head of the racket above his head. I would not advise that to any other player, but he also manages the situation very well because his arm speed is huge. Now look at how long he stays in the air. He hits the ball before starting to fall back down to the court. He jumps high, but not too much inside the court, around 30 centimeters inside which is ideal because when players end up too far inside the court, they are in a vulnerable position on the second shot. Not only he can serve big, and for example, at the US Open, he had the fastest serve of the whole tournament, but also I think it's very powerful in terms of spin. It's very difficult to return because his ball is constantly moving. Despite being very unusual, Ben's serve is huge and all his game is big. So we'll see him in the future, for sure, in the last stages of the Grand Slams.